Coming to you live from Gibsonton, Florida, I'm Michael Wood, your host this evening, and you're seeing right now a match between Sheik Khan Abadi and Anthony Devlin presented by Wrestling911.com. Now, Sheik Khan Abadi in the Sheik getup, uh, just taken down by a clothesline by Devlin. Now Devlin with a big elbow, throwing Sheik against the ropes, spring off, drop kick missed, as the Sheik was smart enough to hold on to those ropes. Folks, for those of you who aren't familiar with DWI Pro Wrestling, it's every two weeks. I hear that soon we're gonna be going to every Friday, but for now it's every two weeks in Gibsonton, Florida. Uh, 6915 Riverview Drive. Just take 301 South from North, North Tampa, we'll say. 301 South, take a right on Riverview Drive. You can't miss it, it'll be on your left side. Or if you're coming from the south end of the state, just go north on 301, you'll get to Riverview, Florida, take a left on Riverview Drive, and you'll see us at the Showman's Event Center, 6915 Riverview Drive. And now Sheik Kanabadi releasing the hold, not being able to get Devlin to tap out. Sheik Kanabadi accompanied at ringside by the Suburban Commandos. The Suburban Commandos who tonight claim that if they lose to the James Boys for the Tag Team Championship, they will leave Florida Wrestling indefinitely and go back to California where they came from, a team from the San Francisco Bay Area. Now the Sheik seemingly just toying with Devlin, putting that, uh, I guess that shin into his face, really working him over, raking that face with those boots. I don't know if that's legal, folks. The referee seems to be allowing it. I think he can allow that as long as he isn't choking him with that leg, which he may have been. Seems like he might have put that right across the Adam's apple of Anthony Devlin. Now Anthony in the corner, uh, thrown, thrown reversal, reversal into the turnbuckle. Devlin comes in, thrown out of the ring. Devlin with a good landing, very acrobatic individual, and the Sheik smart enough to just back down from Devlin. Devlin seems to be the more acrobatic of the two, but the Sheik certainly has it when it comes to uh, when it comes to just being evil, wicked, and willing to break the rules. There you see the Sheik in the black, longer pants and the, I guess, pink sh sash. Now Devlin picked up by the Sheik. Um, looks like he may be going for a body slam, taking him over, and boom, just throws him to the ground. Folks, if you haven't had a, ch a chance to check out DWI Pro Wrestling, check out, check out their website online at dwiwrestling.com. Now the Sheik going up to the top rope, apparently interested in a shot of the week. Uh, speaking of shot of the week, the shot of the week would be that man shaving his chest and a big leg drop, just turning Devlin inside out, going for the cover, the one, two, and he only got the two count there. Sheik throwing a bit of a temper tantrum. I guess you can get away with that in Iran when you're a millionaire. Sheik Kanabadi, who came to the United States just recently, lived in California for a while, but decided to come down where the big boys play in Florida and take on some competition. Probably has his sights set on a FCW contract, a Florida Championship Wrestling contract. And look at that, savant kick, big super kick now. Devlin just leveling Sheik Kanabadi with that big boot to the face. And I don't care how big or strong you are, you take a big boot to the face like that and you're going down like a sack of potatoes. Now Devlin in control after that big savant kick. Sheik ducks under, and look at this pump handle slam, and oh, my goodness. Go for the cover, the one, two, and Sheik only gets a two count. I don't know how Devlin was able to kick out of that. Devlin has some intestinal fortitude, if you will, um, or as they say nowadays, some testicular fortitude. Devlin really able to kick out of that is just astounding to me because that was quite the maneuver by the Sheik, Sheik Khan Habadi. Now Sheik off the top rope, going for the moonsaw, misses the moonsaw. That just looked painful. Uh, Sheik Kanabadi definitely gonna be hurting. There in the background you see Carl D. Martina, uh, Carl D. Martini and Shooter Storm in the background. Both men down here, referee counting. I think he's on about a five count. And Anthony to his feet. 
with a forearm to the back of the Sheik. Sheik taken down. Going to go for the cover, I believe, here. He's got to hook the leg. Apparently not going to hook the leg. Uh, Anthony Devlin apparently is going to go to the top rope. He's going to show us what he's made of here. Now, boom, another moonsaw by Anthony Devlin, the second moonsaw of this match. In the background, you also see Dan, a local referee. A lot of the wrestlers have turned out to watch this athletic competition. These are probably the two highest flyers in DWI Pro Wrestling. Look at that kick, misses, takes out Reyes, the referee, and Devlin just levels the referee. He's gonna be seeing stripes tomorrow. Maybe he'll see stars, I'm not sure, but he'll be seeing something. Now Sheik Kanabadi stands up. Uh, Devlin trying to wake up the referee. Kick to the nads, right to the, uh, to the boys. And now Sheik Kanabadi gonna take advantage. Uh, going for that cover, goes for the one, two, three. Could have him here after that low blow. One, two, three. Did he get him? Did he get him? I'll have to look to the referee. Referee says no, he says it's only a two count. Uh, she count a body now, picking up Anthony Devlin. I don't know how he was able to kick out of that after that shot to the groin that he took. Now going for the cover is she count a body. One, two, three, it's over, folks. I'm Michael Wood from AfroSquad.com and Wrestling911.com. I'll see you next week.